The Ascension of Jesus Christ, a Comparative Study of Biblical and Islamic Narratives The story of Jesus Christ's ascension into heaven is a profound narrative that resonates deeply within both Christian and Islamic traditions. While both religions revere Jesus and acknowledge His extraordinary role, their accounts of His ascension offer distinct perspectives that shape their respective theological landscapes. This comparative study invites us to explore these narratives not merely as historical or doctrinal accounts, but as profound reflections of faith, identity, and divine intervention. By examining the similarities and differences in these ascension stories, we gain deeper insight into the spiritual foundations of Christianity and Islam, and we are prompted to reflect on the ways in which these stories influence the beliefs and practices of billions around the world today. In case of your interest in religions and Islamic history, please subscribe the channel for more informative videos on such subjects. The Ascension of Jesus is a significant event in both Christian and Islamic traditions, but the narratives and theological interpretations differ. In the Bible, particularly the New Testament, the Ascension is described in detail. After His resurrection, Jesus appeared to His disciples over a period of forty days. He spoke to them about the kingdom of God and gave them the Great Commission, instructing them to spread His teachings to all nations. In the book of Acts, it is recorded that Jesus led His disciples to the Mount of Olives, where He was taken up into heaven before their eyes. A cloud hid Him from their sight, and two men in white robes appeared, telling the disciples that Jesus would return in the same way He was taken up. In the Quran, the narrative surrounding Jesus' ascension is different. Jesus, known as Isa in Islam, is considered a prophet and messenger of Allah, but not divine. The Quran emphasizes that Jesus was not crucified, nor did He die on the cross. Instead, it states that it appeared so to the people. But Allah raised Jesus to Himself. This event is seen as a divine intervention to protect Jesus from harm. Islamic tradition holds that Jesus will return to earth in the future to restore justice and defeat the false messiah, known as the Dajjal. Hadith literature which comprises sayings and actions of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, provides additional details about Jesus' role in Islamic eschatology. It is believed that Jesus will descend near a white minaret in Damascus, pray behind the Mahdi, a messianic figure in Islam, and lead the fight against the Dajjal. After defeating the Dajjal, Jesus will rule for a period during which peace and justice will prevail. Eventually, he will die a natural death and be buried. The ascension of Jesus in Christian theology is integral to the understanding of his divine nature and his role as the mediator between God and humanity. It signifies his exaltation and the completion of his earthly mission. The event is celebrated as the Feast of the Ascension and is seen as a precursor to the coming of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. In contrast, the Islamic perspective views the ascension as a sign of Jesus' special status as a prophet and a servant of Allah. It reinforces the belief in Jesus' return as part of the end times narrative. The Quranic account challenges the crucifixion, a cornerstone of Christian faith, emphasizing a different understanding of Jesus' life and mission. Both traditions, while recognizing the ascension, interpret its significance within their theological frameworks. Christianity focuses on the divine nature and redemptive work of Jesus, while Islam highlights his prophetic role and his future return to restore justice. This comparative study underscores the rich and diverse ways in which the figure of Jesus is revered and the ascension is understood in these two major world religions. Here I again remind you to like, share, and comment on the video, and also subscribe the channel The Ascension of Jesus Christ, as viewed through the lenses of both Christianity and Islam, serves as a powerful testament to the enduring impact of his life and teachings. Despite the differences in these sacred narratives, both traditions find common ground in their reverence for Jesus and their belief in his return. This shared hope for a future filled with justice and peace speaks to the universal longing for divine intervention and the ultimate triumph of good over evil.
As we reflect on these stories, we are reminded of our shared humanity and the profound ways in which faith can unite us, inspire us, and guide us toward a more compassionate and understanding world. Let this comparative study not only deepen our knowledge, but also kindle a sense of unity and empathy across religious divides, fostering a spirit of mutual respect and harmony. Thank you for watching.